With climate change at the forefront of countless political debates and state government continuing to move toward a new level of green awareness, the legislature recently passed a plastic bag ban that will go into effect in less than a month. Here to help examine this new law and explain the coming change to us is managing partner Paul Harding from the law firm of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Paul, welcome back. Thank you. All right, so when exactly does this go into effect? March 1st, it goes into effect and uh, really applies to anybody who's collecting sales tax. So if you collect sales tax, you are no longer giving out plastic bags. A couple exceptions. Well, you know, they're going to keep your grapes separated, keep some fruit separated, but pretty much plastic's gone. All right. So will grocery stores provide bags for consumers and will paper bags be an alternative? So the days of paper plastic, you know, those words mm -hmm. are not going to be spoken together, at least in New York State, ever again. The county has to opt in to allow paper bags. So I find that super unique. People thought, well, we're going to just go to paper. Well, Albany County did opt in. It's five cents per bag. Mm -hmm. uh, or, of course, you can make whatever arrangements you want to bring your groceries home. All right. So uh, kind of staying on the paper bag topic here, mm -hmm. you mentioned the fees. So for those counties that charge, um, how's that going to go back to the retailers or will it go back to the retailers? Yeah, so the retailers collect the five cents per bag and they got to give the whole thing to the DEC fund to help with environmental cleanup. Uh, but they'll be selling their own bags, right? And I looked at, I took a quick look today. They're between two and three dollars a bag if you want to buy one. Then the problem is you got to have it with you, right? right? So let's say you're having a big shopping day, you need two or three or four bags, you bring them home, they stay in the garage, you drive back to the store two days later, you're buying more bags. So I think there's going to be a, uh, there's some profit tied into that for sure. Uh, but they're not going to be making any money on the brown bags. All right, what's recommended for consumers who don't necessarily live in a county with that alternative? You know, you can bring a duffel bag, you can bring, <laughs> you can buy, you can do anything you want, but you may have to make your own arrangements, or as I said, you're going to be buying two or three dollar bags consistently. All right, a good reminder for all of us, our folks at home, to just remember to grab those reusable bags. Get them out of yeah. the closet, the cabinets, and stick them in your trunk for now. Of course, for more information on this topic, you can head to our website, cbs6albany.com.